This video is the life cycle of the blue morpho butterfly, an iconic species in Costa Rica. The life cycle of a butterfly involves four phases. First, the egg. Next, the larva or caterpillar. The third is the pupa or chrysalis. And the final and fourth stage then is the adult butterfly. It all begins with two adults mating. The female, once the eggs are fertilized, finds the preferred food plant and lays her eggs. The blue morpho eggs are approximately two millimeters in diameter, with the clear eggs fertilized and the dark eggs not fertilized. In approximately five days, the eggs hatch and the first instar larvae, or caterpillars, emerge. Their first meal consists of eating the eggshell, which provides them adequate energy to find a location on the leaf of their food plant to start eating. The first instar caterpillars are around 10 millimeters or one centimeter in length. The caterpillars molt to give the second instar. You can see one of the caterpillars eating the leaf to grow and eventually they will exceed the capacity of their exoskeleton and again they molt into the third instar. The latter portion of the second instar cat caterpillars, as you can see, have grown to 35 millimeters or 3.5 centimeters. All that caterpillars do is to eat and grow. The third instar caterpillars are approximately 45 millimeters or 4.5 centimeters. The exact time of this particular caterpillar, that is the timing within its phase here in the third instar, is not known. The fourth instar caterpillar is considerably longer, 7.5 centimeters or 75 millimeters, and it appears to be more robust than the third caterpillars. Here the fourth instar caterpillar is shown eating the fifth instar blue morpho caterpillar has two phases. Here the first phase fifth instar caterpillar is either looking for a leaf to eat or is looking for a location to attach to a solid branch. The second phase of the blue morpho caterpillar is referred to as the green phase. This caterpillar then actually turns green, as you can see in this picture here, and attaches itself to a firm branch or leaf. And this is where the caterpillar turns into a chrysalis. This process for this particular caterpillar took 54 minutes to shed its exoskeleton and to be transformed into a chrysalis. You can see the musculature moving the exoskeleton as the chrysalis emerges. The head capsule comes off and the chrysalis starts to show the pure green color. Remember, the, in real life, this whole process takes 54 minutes. As the exoskeleton is removed, you can now see the end of the chrysalis emerging. As this process proceeds, the exoskeleton actually ends up slipping to the top of the chrysalis. For this particular chrysalis, the exoskeleton does not want to fall off and the chrysalis is trying to shake it loose, but in the end, it does not fall off. However, a perfect chrysalis is still formed. The process inside the chrysalis where the chemicals of the caterpillar are biochemically broken down and transformed into the adult butterfly 
is called metamorphosis. For blue morpho butterflies, metamorphosis takes about 10 days. That is, it's in the, the chrysalis phase for, stage for 10 days. And afterwards, the adult butterfly emerges. Here we have the chrysalis in the process of splitting and a adult butterfly will emerge. The total lapse time for this particular butterfly was eight minutes. If we could return for a moment to the five instars, at the end of each instar, after the caterpillar has eaten enough leaf material to fill up the exoskeleton, the caterpillar spins an attachment silk and the next instar caterpillar then emerges and continues to eat and so on through the five instars. Here you can see the adult blue morpho butterfly emerging from the chrysalis in a process that took in total eight minutes. As the adult butterfly emerges, it discharges a brown liquid from the abdomen. Some of that liquid is used by the butterfly to pump up its wings by forcing the liquid through the veins in its wings. This liquid then solidifies and in chemical terms, polymerizes. And the wings become hardened, which allow the butterfly to fly. At this point, if you look carefully at the head area, you can see that this butterfly seems to be having an issue with its proboscis. The proboscis is made of two halves, a top and a bottom, that are interwoven to make a hollow tube. That is the only way that the adult butterfly can obtain nutrients to sustain life. At this point, the butterfly has nearly pumped its wings up to be full size. One interesting fact is that the chrysalis is about three to four centimeters in length, yet the adult butterfly is much larger once it pumps up its wings. In the Pirella butterfly house, visitors can see blue morphos and the other 14 species of butterflies which we raise at the Purella Ecological Garden. The adult butterfly will now sit in this particular situation, pose if you will, for up to several hours while those wings get hard and it can then fly away. Thank you very much, and I hope you've enjoyed this short video.